Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Tesla stock. So and most importantly guys, there will be other videos coming out today, especially focusing on AMD. We have its earnings today. Microsoft earnings just came out. I'll talk about it in another video, but in the post market, it's just like bloodbath. I think I think they beat on both the estimates though, but you can see in the post market selling off and that's why I say you just don't know what's going to happen through the earnings even if they beat the earnings on both fronts eps and uh revenue market is microsoft is selling off and that's why i don't like to trade during this earnings time when that is happening i don't speculate through before and after earnings but hey i'll talk about more microsoft later uh, in another video but this is a buying opportunity for me in my dividend etf portfolio so check that out channel as well link to that channel is in the description below junior trader dividend investing channel but anyways let's focus back on tesla sorry i deviated a little bit tesla is having a bit of uh in the post market reaction as well because well guys qq and spy is selling off with the microsoft so that is affecting tesla as well in results so you can see in the post market it's down but overall starting with the price action this was the blue box i talked about yesterday 234 i said that guys this is the pivotal point the transitioning point if structure has to continue to stay remain in this downtrend this is where we'll see a sell-off and so if you play a short stop loss can be on the other side and we'll just continue lower the first level i provided you to watch the downside was 228 to 226 and once we lose that then we'll go much lower so technically things turned out the way we talked about there was an upside potential as well but that was only if we would have gotten back and stayed above into the blue box and stayed and gotten above 234 i'll talk about more on the hourly interval but that play never worked out the next level again we never saw a support at 227 i'll show you well there was a bit of a support i'll show you in just a second on the hourly interval but so overall structure on tesla continues to remain in this downtrend and this was the pivotal area that i talked about that rebound can come until then and then technically structures until then it's still bearish though overall and we are selling off still underneath of that 234. Now let's go to the hourly interval and what are we seeing is that just right at that level that I provided you yesterday around this 228 and 226 these two areas you can see there was a, a Tesla tried to rebound here right and but eventually sold off so when you see so what happens this was a short area right i talked about if tesla fails to struggles to go up this is a short area because overall structure is still technically bearish and but if we would have stayed above this area like 234 that's a continuation was at least to 200 hours moving out but anyways you broke to the downside came back down to this level to watch 220 to 226 if it potentially finds a pullback here because until then these were two still pivots holding it intraday bullish we got back up so this was a first scalp shot that I talked about if you are into shorting scalps this could be one of the trades and then when you see this rebound failed they couldn't continue higher we, we are seeing a candle close with a strong wake up on the top that means this level is going to break because this is the selling pressure. So price section is then continuing lower after that and that was it once we lost this 226 it was a pretty much a downside play which you already know from my video yesterday and then we came back down to the level of 222 and now we are just we are still falling because well market uh, is reacting quite badly to Microsoft earnings so now Tesla right now overall well intraday as you can see it already became bearish full on with the overall structure and right now there's no upside on Tesla again right yeah not even on intraday tomorrow if we continue to stay below 224 and 93 cents this is if it's chop around but stays down below 224 below this is still a downside play if we get above 224 to 226 this zone there is still some light for the bulls but that will be only if we get above 226 tomorrow so yes otherwise we can continue lower if we stay below 224 and continue to break these levels of the downside like even if we lose just 220 tomorrow then uh, you can be expecting like 214 or even 212 again so that's a very likely possibility so going back to the daily interval you know i won't be surprised uh, technically guys if we do another stretch down to this 200 days moving average and 50 days moving average that's pretty much what is a possibility on tesla so that's it's intraday is still very simple i gave you the levels to watch price action is looking negative 
as we continue to stay below those $224 level area, right? 224 uh, with the 50 hours moving average or 224 to 225, okay? It's now, I'm not gonna be penny to penny perfect here. And uh, you just go with these areas of consolidation, the structure changes and so forth, right? And this is where the structure, again, like full on, is pretty much as I explained over here, right? This candle. And yeah, we broke and structure remains to the downside right now. Unless we get above 225 area, then there is an upside potential. But yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, uh, on Tesla. And um, yeah, let's take a look at if Microsoft, well, yeah, so eventually the next area to, if I would want to really expect for upside and if we continue to fall like this is the zone of interest right the 200 days moving average 50 days moving average that's the zone of interest we'll see what the price action does over there all right but yeah 234 was the level and we couldn't regain back again the structure full on overall to the bullish side and tesla rejected right over there and that's why i say that structural trading is so important you have to make your decisions around these structures with the stop loss on the other side and that's you can see a great short play today and you have to have a stop loss on the other side and you can flip your position if the structure changes to the bullish but it didn't confirm that bullish so why would you trade bullish if it didn't confirm all right i do wanna i will be doing a separate video guys on the um uh, on these uh microsoft and amd but i just want to show see real quick if things rebounded no they're still selling off so microsoft 395 395 quite a deep AMD, did they do their earnings already? I'm not seeing a huge rejection. Well, nothing much. It's just selling off with Microsoft. I will QQ and SPY. But I don't think they did their earnings right now. I'm not seeing anything come out for AMD. Well, again, I'll be doing a video later. So I'll be talking about there, then what happened. But yeah, things are, market is in the sell-off right now. So anyways, that's it for this video. And sorry, let's actually go to the weekly interval as well real quick and yeah tesla is rejecting underneath of now that 200 weeks moving average after breaking right so this week it's rejecting underneath of 200 weeks moving average interesting all right guys see you in the next video um take care bye